Uh, this installment, we're going to be continuing on setting up the home server. In this one, it's going to be the classic example of Plex Media Server in an LX branded zone. Uh, I guess we'll start by creating the VNIC. MS. Uh, what is the image? So uh, we'll use ZCage again. And let me look at the images. I'm going to be using CentOS 7 for this. This guy here. I'm going to create this. Call it Plex MS Zero. Uh, we'll just we'll take off the MS Zero. Just call it Plex MS. Um, give it three gigs of memory. LX brand and with this image. This will take a second to create. Once it's created, I'm going to go in and edit the zone config. Um, there may be a way to do this, but I want to add uh, the read-only option. So I have uh, data sets created for movies and TV that will be served up by the Plex software. And so we'll go back over here. XMS. And so the address is in there. Resolvers are in there. Uh, we have a 10 gig quota. That'll be fine. The memory is good. So Zcage is doing its job. But what we want to do is add a file system here. Uh, and I'm going to add it so using loopback yeah, rather than bringing a data set forward. Uh, I also want to make it read only so that this zone can't modify any of this data. And the data management happens outside of the zone where the where Plex is running. So add a file system, read only media. Loop back and read only. No errors. So I need to add an alias for, for that. So zkage ls is zkage ps. Let's start it up and uh, install the software. I'm really finding that Zcage actually uh, makes a lot of zone creation really handy. Uh, it's a great pairing with with OmniOS. Would highly recommend. Um, you know, it's got some some irritating things. Uh, nothing that can't be fixed, and in fact, I might do some fixing there. get my link here. Hmm? So can't resolve the name. That's up. And it looks like the zone or Z cage, the zone config didn't populate the resolvers. Not a problem. Add this in manually. Uh, one, in a future video, we'll be setting up a little zone to do DNS. 
um, on this machine, but for now, we'll just use the router. And that is working. I just wanted to show that we now have the movies and TV uh, brought in. Uh, don't judge my TV choices. And and it's now read-only. So nice and safe. And let's just make sure it's running. Lex Media is running. And we're done. Uh, simple as that. Um, going to cut it off here and save the setup for... Yeah, you guys don't need to see that. Um, please leave a comment below if there's anything about the home server build you'd like to see. Um, some of the ones coming up, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about uh, creating DNS in a zone, uh, doing some virtual, some emulation in a zone, so, you know, VAX, Spark, uh, bits and pieces like that, um, you know, setting up some of my development stuff, so databases, uh, ArangoDB, Postgres, uh, some of that stuff there, but also would love to hear what you guys want to see uh, to do with this machine. So, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll be back again soon.